an appeal bid uh, launched by the Minister uh, of Home Affairs to the High Court in Pretoria in South Africa, uh, challenging uh, actually the, I mean, appealing for, for I mean, launching a leave for appeal to appeal the matter in which the, the High Court in Pretoria uh, ruled uh, that the decision that was taken by the Minister of Home Affairs to terminate uh, the ZEP uh, holders uh, actually violated the rights uh, of the holders of the Zimbabwe uh, exemption permit. Uh, this was not actually welcomed well by the Minister of South Africa, uh, specifically the Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Motualeti, and he appealed yesterday uh, that particular uh, decision, uh, I mean, seeking a leave to appeal, I mean, to the higher court, uh, according to, 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 to the laws of South Africa. Uh, so the Minister followed uh, that route of actually uh, launching a leave to, to, to appeal the, the judgment earlier made by the, the High Court of South Africa, uh, which actually found out that the minister uh, had violated the rights uh, of foreigners in South Africa uh, by just abruptly uh, terminating uh, the ZEP uh, permit. So yesterday there was actually uh, that court sitting and uh, the Minister of Home Affairs was actually advancing uh, the argument that the court overstepped uh, its, 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 its duties or there was some form of uh, judiciary uh, overreach uh, because the court is not supposed to, to, to have a say particularly on issues of government policy. Uh, that is an area which is restricted to government uh, of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, however, the lawyers of Helm, Helm and, I mean, the, I mean, the lawyers of uh, Helen Sussman, uh, who had earlier launched this uh, application, uh, argued that uh, they, they is absolutely, the, the court should actually dismiss uh, the, the application because it has no prospects of success at a higher court. Uh, there is absolutely no higher court which may actually uh, uh, reach a different uh, conclusion regarding this matter, uh, considering the fact that the minister uh, did not consult uh, the ZEP uh, holders uh, when actually he was making the decision to terminate uh, the ZEP uh, permit. So that was the, the, the argument advanced almost by the Helen Sussman Foundation as well as other organizations uh, which are actually, which was representing the refugees uh, and uh, so they held the same view uh, that the Minister of Home Affairs uh, did not consult uh, the holders of ZEP uh, permit before undertaking uh, the decision. And they don't see him actually uh, succeeding. And also they called on the court, the, that particular higher court uh, at Pretoria, uh, to actually... Uh, uh, I mean, make the minister to pay, uh, especially for, for, for making this uh, application uh, to, 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 to actually make a declaration regarding what we call punitive uh, cost. Uh, so uh, this was the matter that was uh, discussed uh, yesterday, basically in courts in summation. Uh, so it, it is actually public knowledge that the African National Congress government, uh, led by President Cyril Ramaphosa, I mean, made a decision to actually backtrack uh, on continually issuing uh, Zimbabweans uh, permits. Uh, these permits were coming in regimes, uh, various regimes, and uh, the last regime was the Zimbabwe uh, exemption uh, permit, of which they decided to end uh, that regime and not issue uh, any further actually permits to the Zimbabweans. Uh, however, uh, all of a sudden, there was again backtracking on that matter, and uh, the Zimbabweans were asked to apply for waivers uh, because there was absolutely no way uh, they could apply for other regimes of permits in South Africa because uh, most of them did not qualify uh, for other regimes. And uh, the Minister of Home Affairs uh, introduced the waivers, of which a lot of uh, 
holders of Zimbabwe exemption permits have actually applied for them, others are still, I mean, have actually applied, others have received their waivers, others are still actually waiting for their waivers, and the Ministry of Home Affairs has actually indicated that they are still working on those waivers. So. How did we reach uh, this, uh, I mean, situation uh, that South Africa and Zimbabweans found themselves in? Let's look at the issue, what caused the South African government uh, in the first place to actually disregard their constitution and uh, issue the Zimbabwe exemption uh, permits. Uh, I think the, 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 the issue is that, that even it came out in the courts uh, that the South African government uh, by that time was not in a position to issue uh, i mean to to to, to issue the, 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 the to issue a, i mean the influx of foreigners who were coming uh, running away from the the, the situation uh, in zimbabwe with documentation and uh, they resorted uh, to, to, to introduce these regimes of uh, special permits uh, so that uh, they could actually legalize all people who were coming from Zimbabwe and they were coming in numbers. Uh, the situation was not manageable uh, because of the political uh, and also they considered the political climate that prevailed uh, in Zimbabwe during that particular uh, time. Something that was also asked by the lawyers of, uh, uh, and also deliberated on by the lawyers of Helen Susman Foundation, that as it stands, the situation in Zimbabwe hasn't changed. Uh, if there is anything in Zimbabwe, the situation has actually escalated and they wonder why the government of ANC in particular decided to backtrack uh, on uh, actually uh, continually regularizing uh, Zimbabweans. So as it is now politically in South Africa, the South African government has actually taken a decision uh, not to issue uh, Zimbabweans uh, further permits uh, and they directed them to actually apply for other uh, permits uh, and they directed them to apply for waivers and uh, these waivers they should state the reason why the Minister of Home Affairs should actually uh, I mean uh, disregard the constitution to issue them uh, these particular permits so it, it, it is uh, when when viewed vis-a-vis uh, -vis the constitution of South Africa uh, it will be very very difficult particularly for the Zimbabwean migrants uh, to migrate from ZEP permits uh, to these other uh, permits that are offered by the South African uh, government uh, so it, it is a bleak, bleak, bleak picture uh, there is a bleak picture obviously for the Zimbabweans residing uh, in South Africa their future uh, absolutely is not certain especially looking at the determination because the minister is representing the South African uh, government it simply means uh, the ANC is tired of actually having Zimbabweans uh, in South Africa and uh, part of the things uh, that we know now these are political analysis I think this court yesterday coincided with the documentary that was released by a uh, PPC and uh, those who watched that documentary could actually see the anger uh, in some of the sections of the societies uh, regarding foreign nationals whereby some women were coming out openly indicating that they hate foreign nationals, uh, blaming them for selling drugs uh, to their children, uh, bl blaming them for the addictions uh, that, that are actually prevailing in South Africa, indicating that it is foreigners uh, who are actually selling drugs uh, to the South Africans, uh, something that is highly debatable. Uh, this is a point that is, is highly uh, debatable on whether it, it is it true that it's foreigners who are selling uh, drugs in South Africa? Is it true to actually uh, paint all the foreigners uh, as individuals who are participating in selling drugs uh, in South Africa? So this is the this mainly is the reason. Especially we know that Operation Tutula uh, was instrumental in persuading the government of ANC uh, to backtrack on issuing uh, Zimbabweans 
with actually permit and we saw the, the, the African National Congress actually succumbing uh, to that particular pressure uh, because in, the, in, 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 in previous elections which were held in South Africa, uh, it was we saw a lot of political parties such as Patriotic Front uh, winning uh, those elections uh, with, with a, a slightly bigger margin. And uh, I think this might have actually uh, propelled the African National Congress uh, to begin to listen to, to pressure groups such as uh, Operation uh, Tudula, uh, which have shown and indicated publicly that they are anti-foreigners uh, and they have gone to an extent of actually establishing uh, their party and the, the Trump card. Uh, I mean, the, 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 their policy is coined around getting rid of foreigners in South Africa because they hold a view uh, that foreigners are actually a, a burden to South Africa and they are the source of the problems, social as well as economic problems uh, that are confronting South Africa, indicating that foreigners, they are responsible uh, for the crimes that are witnessed uh, in South Africa. That is still uh, not a proven uh, matter, and some of them, particularly the leader of the Operation Tutula, the founder, uh, considered that uh, their organization uh, arguments are actually based on hearsay, uh, on what they hear people are saying, uh, not actually a substantiated fact, uh, which are substantiated by a research. Uh, so, as it stands at the moment, uh, the satanity of foreigners, particularly the Zimbabwean migrants in South Africa, uh, it, 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 it is not certain. Uh, they are heading for very, very difficult times. Ironically, it has been argued publicly uh, that we have seen actually ANC adopting this stance of uh, regarding ZANU-PF as their ally. Uh, I mean, they have spoken publicly about it, even the African National Congress the Secretary General has actually posted that the African National Congress is an ally uh, of ZANU-PF. Uh, hence, that is why we saw them, in spite of observer missions, numerous observer missions, condemning uh, the elections that were recently held in Zimbabwe. We saw the African National Congress being the first political party to actually congratulate uh, ZANU-PF and uh, their delegation, I mean their president, also went to Zimbabwe to witness the inauguration of Emerson Tambuzom Nangakwa. A lot of people feel that as simply rappers them being uh, the condemned elections that recently uh, happened in South Africa. And by virtue of actually seeing this, a lot of people conclude that uh, South Africa uh, somewhere, somehow is linked to the problems uh, that are currently experienced by Zimbabweans and they are aiding uh, ZANU-PF. And uh, a lot of Zimbabweans are angry, particularly with the role that was played uh, by Tabombegi establishing the government of national unity in Zimbabwe to resuscitate uh, ZANU-PF. And uh, that is why a lot of citizens in Zimbabwe they have said this time around there shouldn't be any acceptance of the government of national unity because that will seek uh, to resuscitate uh, ZANU-PF and uh, ensure that the problems that are experienced by Zimbabweans uh, continues to be the order of the day. So Zimbabweans found themselves uh, at this uh, I mean point in their life whereby in South Africa they are not wanted. I think the, that documentary, I mean, that BBC documentary portrays, says it all, uh, that uh, organizations such as Tutula, they are actually determined, they have even gone to an extent of transforming themselves from being a an organ, a mere organization to be actually a, a political party which shows their determination uh, and that political party uh, what is funny about it is that it is solely advocating for the mass deportation uh, of foreign nationals. I think we saw also a program which was aid uh, on uh, ENCA uh, depicting the anger from the members of 
uh, Operation Tudula, as well as some political parties, particularly Keito and Mackenzie. Mackenzie, yes, a, a leader of the Patriotic Front, uh, I mean, being so clear uh, that he will actually be pushing for mass uh, deportations of Zimbabwe foreign nationals and all foreign nationals, by the way. Uh, South Africa, I, I think at the moment, the picture that we are getting even from the government, they are taking a stance of uh, being anti I mean, foreign uh, nationals, particularly African uh, foreign uh, nationals. I think the, 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 the temperatures are high at the moment, which puts the, the, I mean, the, the lives of foreign nationals in South Africa at a greater uh, danger. Uh, and we will be continuing uh, actually to follow uh, this matter and giving you updates. But as things stand, uh, the situation for the people of Zimbabwe is not looking good uh, at the moment because we have seen, we have had uh, organizations as well as political parties urging the government uh, to get rid, uh, the, to get rid, they say get rid of these foreign nationals. And some they went to an extent of saying, even those whom we have previously issued them with permit, please revisit those permit, ensure that these people uh, leave our country. Uh, there is, uh, I mean, evident uh, Afrophobia uh, spirit uh, within uh, South Africa, and it is manifesting. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's for everybody uh, to actually see and uh, uh, I mean, it, it's out there in the public uh, domain. Uh, so this is what it is. Thank you very much for watching us. If you're watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next